back to What Are Tea Noobs with General Disturbance. This is the M12, the Tier 7 American SPG. This one is located on the north spawn of Prokhorovka and it's under the command of Angelina 75. And this is, well, supposedly, it's actually her first replay of the week that she submitted. Game on. 155mm howitzer. It's capable of doing 600 alpha, 39mm pen with a burst radius of, um, actually you got me on that one, <laughs> 72 meters. yes, with the, um, she hasn't actually loaded any of the other rounds, so it's purely stun HG, and actually is going to make the best of it as she can. Ooh, somebody's asked to platoon with her straight away and she has platooned and it's an IKV-90 and a charioteer. Let's hope that they know how to spot so that Angelina can get really masses of damage on the enemy. Well, first enemy tank's coming to sight. It's an ELC Evan 90 who just got hit and he's very unhappy about that. Angelina's lining up a shot on him, rounds out and... Well, it was close but wasn't close enough to get stunned. And Angelina's relocating. Now she's right at the back of the map, but she's changing her position to ensure that uh, the enemy, if they do try to camp battery, they're not going to get anything out of it. Okay, you can move about quite a lot at this back area, and I do that myself. It also helps you get an angle on some of these enemy tanks over here, although the flight time of the shell is actually quite long because it's about two seconds from where she is to the centre of the map. Now, lost sight of the tank that was there. It was the T-34-100, the constructor, the Czech version of the T-34 with a 100mm gun. There he is. She's lining him up, rounds out, and direct hit! 235 hit points. Oh, and she got load of sun assists after that. And he's gone! Oh my gum, she's picked up 471 stun assist. From one shot alone. Oh dear, it looks like Talon is in for a very, very difficult time because I think Angelina is showing that she means to beat him and get that Sunday morning lion. Okay, well, over on the other side of the battlefield, right up on the hill, we've got an Amex M449. That's the plainclothes version of the Liberty. Rounds out on him. Oh, it's a direct hit! My gum, she's done it again. That's two direct hits. Now, admittedly, she um, did actually uh, miss that first shot that she fired, but she's fully loaded and she's now firing at a Yag Tiger 88. And she gets some stun off him as well. 26 hit points of splash damage, but 298 of stun assist. It looks like her teammates are enjoying this. Admittedly, the IKB-90 is already dead, but uh, the Charioteer, well, he's in for a good time if we can get damage. Rounds out, this could kill. Oh, no, the target's already dead before the shell arrives. And she's changing position. She's actually getting closer to the enemy because it appears we've captured this side of the battlefield altogether. Our ELC is right down at the bottom and it's now located where the enemy is. Now, where's Angelina going to aim? Well, it appears that she's actually aiming towards the back of the enemy map on the railway line. We've got a Tiger P and an IS, and I think Angelina wants the Tiger P first. Another direct hit, 188. The enemy RT's just been spotted. It's an M12 like Angelina. Oh, loads of stun assist on the Tiger P. And the M12 goes down, taken out of the game, already by the TNH 105-1000. This IS is in a very dangerous position. Angelina's lining up the shell to try and hit him as well. Rounds out, looks good. Lands right in front of him, but stuns him. Our teammates are actually over the bridge already, over the railway line, but the ELC was a little too quick and he gets wiped out by the uh, AMX M449 up on the hill. Okay, they've got a Torn Varn up there. We're now looking to try and put a round into him because he's hiding behind a wreck and it's not the best place to be. It takes 52 hit points of splash, but it's the stun that we want. 
because we can get the stun assist. Come on, guys, shoot the stun tank. All rounds are going in. They're not hitting the tall barn yet because the wreck's in the way. But you can you can hear the cling as the rounds hit the wreck. And Angelina hits him again, this time for 213. And now she is getting stun assist, mostly from the guys on the railway line who are shooting up at the hill. And that tall barn is not protected there. He has to pull back. She's looking for another shot. He's gone. There's only five enemies left. There's one of them. It's the Ray 40 ton. She fires at him, rounds out, and she gets some splash. And she's getting stun assist for the stun. And he's gone. Wow, she's already scored 2,800 stun assist in this game. There's only two enemies left. The ELC on the enemy team, the one that she fired at first, and now the M449, which is probably the better target. He's much slower and he can't run away. Once he's been stunned, he's, uh, well, unless he uses his first aid kit, he's in trouble. Direct hit, 111 hit points. Hit the front quarter of the tank. That's one of the weak spots, actually, on that particular quarter. And that's only those two enemy left. The ELC could try and escape by going north, but I don't think he realizes that yet. Okay, there's the ELC. He's actually joining his teammate in the AMX M449, which is not a good move. He'd be far better off. Oh, Angelina does it again. Gets 38 hit points of stun. Uh, there's some flash and stun assist. The ELC, well, he's tried to escape by driving through our lines. But he won't get very far if he does that. He would have been much better off heading north. To try and get away but now he's going to get absolutely hammered when they spot he's out and about yeah i think these these enemy are looking looking at him our teammates rather are looking at that elc and one what the hell is he doing he managed to get through our lines but he's still down in the south Okay, Angelina will be doing well to actually get closer to that TNH 105-1000. The ELC has managed to break out by going through our lines. So a very brave thing to do, but a very foolish thing, I think, actually, I would say. Because um, by doing it, he's actually risked getting wiped out. But now he could actually... Uh, if he finds Angelina, he could do some serious damage to her with a 90mm gun. Well, Angelina's aiming to where she thinks he is. I would actually try and get closer to the GNH. No, oh, she's... If you, in, under these circumstances where you don't know where the enemy is, you should try and get close to your teammates. You have been spotted. She's gone to the aim. And yes, the ELC is firing his like an enemy thing. Yeah, that was bound to happen. She should have driven over to the TNH, got behind him. And that would have been safe, but... Angelina instead got taken out. Well, the AMX M449 got wiped out, but Angelina uh, also got wiped out. And that's it. The game is over. They've capped out. Here's the end of battle results. And that was the first class tanker for Angelina 75 of Olymp in the M12. She managed to get a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits in this game. She managed to get eight. And she got a confederate as well for hitting more of the enemy than anyone else on her team. At least six tanks subsequently taken out by other teammates. In fact, she didn't get a single kill in the game. But she was killed because, of course, that ELC was able to escape uh, from the cordon. And uh, instead of going directly north on the hill, he actually went and broke through the lines, but managed to stay in the tree line and take Angelina out when he found her. Instead of actually going to the aim, I think she should have, as I said, driven over and kept got as close as she could to the TNH-1000, because then she could have hid behind his body uh, to protect herself from his fire. Anyway, uh, the win eight on that one was 1,080. Well, she didn't do a huge amount of actual damage, but she did get a massive amount of stun assist which is why she's got the first-class tanker. Let's have a look at the team scores. 
Well, the team scores showed that the highest damage in the game actually went to the Lorraine 40 ton. He picked up a high caliber for 3,400 hit points. Second highest damage was the SU-101 on our team with 2,750. And the third highest damage was the AMX M449 on the enemy team with 2,639 hit points of damage. Angelina only made 924 hit points of damage in the game. As I said, it wasn't a huge amount of damage, but it's the stun assist that counts. When it came to kills, Angelina didn't get any at all. The highest scorer was the Lorraine 40 ton again with three kills. Two kills went to the AMX M449 on the enemy team and also to the SU-101, the Super Pershing, the TNH-105-1000, the IS-3 and the M4Y on our own team. And when it came to base XP, Angelina's in second place because the ELC-790 on our own team got a patrol duty, even though he got wiped out fairly on early on in the game. Uh, he got a patrol duty and also, well, he got 1,239 base experience points, whereas Angelina picked up that Confederate and 1,008, and they were the only ones who managed to get over 1,000 base in the game, with the CS44 managing 970. Angelina fired 13 rounds in the game. She got five direct hits on the enemy, zero penetrations, but she did get 11 splash. Damage of 924 hit points, all of it at more than 300 meters. She did receive two hits from the 90mm gun on the ELC-790 and it wiped her out. She also did damaged seven of the enemy, didn't get any kills, but she got 3,145 hit points of stun assist off 11 stuns, and that's where she earned the first class tanker. On a free-to-play account, she made a profit of 14,080 credits from that game. She earned 30 bonds for a mission achievement, and she took away 2,016 experience points. But that score actually puts Angelina in the lead, because if you remember, the lead was currently being held by Talon, and he actually had uh, a second class and a bruiser with a win eight of 2545. So Angelina's first class bruiser and confederate easily beats him, uh, even though his win eight, her win eight is less than his, because uh, yes, this is a higher class tanker than, um, than Talon's. And of course, she got a medal as well. So Angelina is now in the lead and likely to get the weekend lion. Let's have a look at the last game that Talon sent in before the weekend lion. The second replay is on the El Halouf map, and in this game, Talon is driving the Hummel. Tier 6 German SPG with a 15 centimeter howitzer. It's the same howitzer as on the Gorilla. It's the stock one, but it's actually got a much better range, uh, much better range, much better accuracy, and uh, a faster reload than the standard 15 centimeter you get with the uh, Top Gun. Now he's decided that he's going to hide amongst the ruins of this village uh, to start with, which is a good decision. This is slightly closer to the enemy, and he's able to get shots on the enemy by shooting up over the rocks. This particular howitzer actually does have a very good trajectory, which is actually very high. So the shell goes up and comes almost straight down on top of the enemy. Well, not quite, but at an angle. Okay, it's 480 Alpha. It penetrates through 38 millimeters of armor and with a 6.7 meter burst radius. Okay, now if he's looking to the north, you'll see he can get shots into that corner. So if the enemy does decide that they want to go onto that corner and shoot at our teammates across the gap, then he's going to get shots on them. But one of them, a very sneaky Cromwell, has decided that he wants to get the first couple of shots in and the, the uh, spots. So he's rocking backwards and forwards. Now, Talon could change the aim. He's got 15 degrees either side of the center line to play with. And in fact, he's going to go for the Polak tank, who's actually decided to come a little way forward than he should for his own benefit. And he's going to launch the round right on top of the guy. And he does get 154 hit points of damage to start with with his first shot, and he stuns the Polak. You don't get a huge amount of stun assist, but the, the Polak has taken a hit. Now he's reloading. Standard reload is 25.31 seconds. Tan has got 20.50. There's a T1 heavy right at the back behind this Cromwell. 
but he's just rocking backwards and forwards and stopping our guys from moving forwards just yet. There's the T1. Now, this could be interesting because this guy's going to take a real hammering if Talon manages to land rounds on top of him. He'll pull forward to take a shot when he thinks it's safe. Like this. Rounds out. Shell's on the way. Direct hit. 191 hit points. And of course, when he does get hit, he gets stunned. Now, it looks like the enemy RT is also firing at our tanks in that area. Okay, that one gives us stun, but no damage. There's two RT on either team. The enemy team actually has a M44 and a PP. The 105 left H18V2. We've got the Hummel and the 105 left H18V2. He manages to stun that IS2 and he got taken out a split second later. So he's picked up another 171 of stun assist. And he's nicely positioned. Still trying to get a shot on that Cromwell. The guy knows that if he pulls forward too far, he's like to get hit. Well, he got stunned. Now, can we get shots on these guys? T29 will make a good target because it's tier 7. If Talon can hit that, he gets 10% extra XP for all the shots he gets on target. He's now going to load and try and hit this Polak, and he can hit him because the shells are coming in from above. And you get 77 hit points. Hit the hard armor. Mark Polak, but he's actually taken the mark off. But I think he's going to fire another one in. The Polak stays there for much longer. He is going to take more damage. Okay, he's not going to back up too much. That's it. Line it up. Rounds out. And another good hit. That time it's 188, but he got stun assist as well. The Polak is a one shot now. In fact, you could splash kill him. You see, one of the shells actually hit the front plate. No, he went down to one very quick round. And he was taken out in that one by the AMX M445. We're now trying to put a round on the C29. Rounds out and good shot. 208 hit points on that one. Hit the engine deck. Now he's, he's still picking up stun assist off that T29. So that was definitely a good target. He's trying to change the angle so he can get shots on the T29 when he goes into cover. Can't get shots on that Cromwell. Well, we can now. The guy's backed up. Oh, and that was a direct hit there on the T29, I think, from our PP. Now, we're still trying to get an angle on that T29. Enjoy. I think he needs to move over a bit further. Oh, one of the enemy RTs has decided to come a little too close and rounds out on him. And he's now out the game. Talon claims the kill. Moving around a lot, trying to get a solution that works. Okay, the T29 is now being hindered by his own Cromwell, who gets wiped out. I'm sure that Cromwell's not going to be very happy with that T29 for that, but Talon's going to be happy if he can get some more damage on this guy. And he's just tracked him. Yeah, can we get some damage? Well, the VP hit him whilst he was tracked, and so we picked up some more damage assist. Okay, well, there's only three enemies left, and it appears they're right over the other side of the valley, so now Talon has to get over the other side as quickly as he can. He's having a fairly good day game because he is getting stun assist off these shots. The trouble is, it's so far to drive, even though it's downhill to get to the valley bottom. But even once you get down here, the enemy could could be far enough away that it makes it difficult to get accurate hits. Well, the IKB-90 has gone to a very, very familiar position. He's hiding behind the rock. Rounds out on him. Oh, it's a kill shot! And there's the enemy Fifi. Now, can he do damage to this guy? I hope so. He's reloading. The Fifi's probably... Well, it looked like he was trying to aim, but he's changing his position again. Come on, you can do it. Rounds out. 
Oh, he got some splash. 91 hit points. And the target goes down. And that is the end of the game. Here's the end of battle stats. That was the first class tank of Vitalin 1958 Volib in the Hummel. He got a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits in this game. He managed to get seven. His win rate was 1,874. And although this is an improvement on his previous score, I'm afraid it doesn't beat Angelina because Angelina got a first class bruiser and a confederate. And that beats Talon's last game that he sent in. So Angelina won the weekend line. And she very much enjoyed it. And Talon knew that he had to go to bed early on Saturday night to be up in time to prepare breakfast for Angelina. Very good game, though. Let's have a look at the team score. Well, he didn't get the highest damage. That went to the Fifi on his own team, who got a Confederate and 1,727 hit points of damage. Very accurate shooting by Thumper58. Second highest damage went to the AMX M445 and our team, 1,620. And the third highest damage went to the enemy Fifi. Would you believe it? 1,450 for him uh, on the enemy team. We can see that Talon picked up 1,092. He did very well working that corner as fast as he could. When it came to kills, we can see he was actually joint top scorer with the AMX M445, the Striv M4257, the Tiger P, who actually also got a Spartan and Steel Wall and two kills, and so did Talon and the E25 on his own team. On the enemy team, only two tanks managed to get two kills apiece, and they were the enemy Fifi and the Polak tank, and there was only three other players who actually managed to get kills at all, so only five players managed to score a kill in that game on the enemy team. When it came to base XP, Talon's in third place because the Tiger P managed 939, the AMX M445 managed 810, Talon got 778. So at least he got third place on that one. He fired 12 rounds, which is a decent amount of ammunition. Those last few shots he actually managed to get in were quite useful. Five direct hits on the enemy, no penetrations, but 13 splash. Damage of 1,092 hit points, all of it at more than 300 meters. Damage seven of the enemy, killed two. And that's where he missed out on the uh, the Confederate, because if he'd actually got the Confederate, actually, I think, if I can remember correctly, let's go back. That's Angelina's score. And if we go back to Talon's, he got 2545. Now, if we go forwards to have a look at Talon's score in this game, he got a higher win eight. He didn't score the Confederate. So it's the fact that he killed the IKV-90 at the end of the game that denied him the Confederate and Angelina won the Weekend Lions. So by getting a kill, he actually denied himself a medal. So, oh, unfortunate that, isn't it? It does happen sometimes in the game. I thought for a second, hang on, this is where he missed out because he killed the IKV-90. 1029 hit points of stun assist off 11 stuns so yes he did have a lot of stun assist in that game and he also earned a profit of 124,272 credits because he got a mission completion and 2334 experience points so sad that angelina won again and this time she did it because talon scored a kill which if he hadn't have scored he would have won the weekend lion Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. What can you do? Well, what can happen? It's, it's, the thing is, the Confederate actually went to a 6 and 0 on Thumper 58. So if Talon had not have killed that IKV 90, then if we show his figures 7 and 2, it would have been 7 and 1, and he would have had a Confederate as well. So, yes, there you go. It has happened again. This has happened before, actually, to, to Talon. Um, it's it's bad luck, I think, in the end. But I'm sorry I'm laughing. I shouldn't really be laughing. It's quite sad. But there we go. It does happen every now and then. I hope you enjoyed those replays. If you did, please give this video a like. Do subscribe to our channel. Leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm. And I hope more of you will be cheering for Talon next week because Angelina just keeps beating him again and again and again. And thank you for watching.